Well, today I'm going to do another coding scratch game video. So today's video is going to be all about how to make a ping pong game. So it's not this one, this one, okay. So first, you, firstly you need to pick three sprites, a line, a paddle and a ball, any type of ball. Once you have that, then pick your background. When you have those, then put your paddle nearly close to the end. Then put your line at the very bottom. And put your paddle a little bit above it and put the ball in the centre. So now, let me just remove this. Just a mini. Okay, yeah. So this is a fresh start. It, it was already I didn't know who did, but okay, it's already there. So yeah, uh, next, um, firstly we have to we'll do the line and let's do it. So one flag clicked. Then, so when, so firstly we get one flag clicked. Then you go to control and you get if. Then, then you go to sensing if. If the line is touching the basketball which I have in here, then. Stop the game completely. Stop. Stop all, yeah. Stop all. And put it, so if it's keep checking, put it in the forever block. So it can keep checking. Let's get on back. So we've done that. Now we go to paddle. Then the paddle can be very easy. You go to forever block. Then you go to set X to let's, let's not put anything. And your mouse X and place it inside there. And then one flag clicked. This, so wherever your mouse is going, it will go to that direction. Only left or right, not up and down. Okay, once you're done with that, now next you have to go to the basketball. First, so then when flag clicked, then you go to the um, if then block. Then you put, if the ball is touching the paddle, <clears throat> then turn 180 degrees and then move 15 steps. Let's say that. So that code is done. And then let's put in the forever block because it can't keep checking and cut and you can touch the battle. So if I do this, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not moving because I haven't added more code to it. So if it, they go here. So let's drag one more, and then let's go to um motion block, and get a, let's see um, yeah, pointing direction. Let's change the ninety degrees to the half. Change it to 45. So once it bounces the ball, it will go to 45. It's not going to be go yet because it's not. So once you're done, then you go to the forever block and put it inside to forever. And then inside the forever block, you put um, move 15 steps. Okay. If you see now, the ball just went, it's not even coming anymore, so it's, it's technically the ball, ball is gone. Now we can't see the ball. Let's change it to 15. And then, the most important part, if one edge bounce, so let's put if one edge bounce. If one edge bounce. So technically, if I do like this, oops. so something happened to me. So my my paddle's not working because now it's working. There we go. So it's now bouncing off. Now if we touch the red line, the game will stop completely. And yeah, that's uh, it. Probably I'll play one more time to realize it. Then if you touch it, you want to if you want to add a score, you can. I prefer don't. And um yeah, it's like not too complex build. You can build it by yourself, and it's not that complicated. So 
I prefer for a beginner to do it. So yeah, um, that's the end of the video, and I hope you like it. Please subscribe to the channel and.